Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mama Brick channel. Now, those that are always constantly interacting with this channel, I'd like to thank you. You're letting the algorithm know where to direct this stuff, where to direct this, this information. So that's really great, that's really helpful. Those that are new to this channel, we like talking about interoperability, we like talking about NFTs, and generally seeing uh, through the lenses of different eyes, uh, trying to see where the trend of cryptocurrencies are. Now, let us get into this video. So, you can see on the screen, there's an urgent message. I like I talk about Fesh.ai a lot on this channel, and there's an urgent message, okay? So, Fesh.ai runs on a proof-of-stake chain. Uh, they incorporate actually something called useful proof-of-work. They incorporate proof-of-stake and uh, direct acyclic graph. So, that's DAG technology. So, they have three consensus algorithms. And proof-of-stake model is where you have most of the governance models, so the staking and delegation. So there's a very urgent, important message to all these people out there, especially that are staking their FED tokens. Currently, just 10 validators have more than 75% of staked FED delegated to them. So help us decentralize the FED.ai network by sp spreading your delegation to multiple validators. Guys, this is extremely important if you want to achieve decentralization and proper governance policies. So this is the current list of validators. If I arrange them according to voting power, you see that the first one and the second one hold a total of about 31% of voting power. That's block scope. Um, a word out, I think the Fetch.ai team needs to disable this. You see Blockscope has 0% commission rate. I think they need to disable it. They need to set like a minimum of say 5% because if someone sees 0% commission rate, they'll most likely delegate their Fed tokens to Blockscope because their commission rate is 0%, which means they're taking none for themselves. They're distributing all the profits equally amongst all the delegators. So they're pulling in most of the tokens. So in case someone from the Fed team sees this, Try to find a way of implementing a mechanism that allows maybe the validators to set a minimum of 2% or something like that. Uh, try to create some incentive models that will help in the decentralization of this network, but hopefully those solutions are not centralized. As well as to the community, please try to really de delegate your fair tokens to help in the push for decentralization in the network. So these are examples there. So far, 50 validators and you can see the top 10 actually more hold indeed most of the stake so you need to redistribute your uh, fair tokens for because this means that anyone that i think has more than 50 percent i don't know what the ratio is here can make decisions uh, the top validators can collude and change something significant in the network so that's very important so guys this is a quick reminder this video is going to be mainly fetch.ai packed because it's it, i think it's been a while since i made a video that's specifically for fet so just as a reminder in some of the partnerships of fetch.ai in the past they've had so many partnerships with uh iota with ocean protocol with so many other organizations but just a reminder of some of the really big ones and some that are probably left out the poznan supercomputing and network center the psnc is one of them they they dealing a whole range of things to from bioorganic chemistry to uh, sponsoring innovative organizations from seed to final product uh, they do all kinds of innovation in virtual reality uh, 3d modeling using uh, advanced sort of analysis tools maybe finite element analysis but using a virtual uh, virtual world environment kind of thing so they do that kind of stuff experiment experimentation and innovation into manufacturing solutions prototyping solutions that are advanced that are futuristic so officially is partnered with these people they, they're partnered with data they, they, these are the guys also building under the mobix team so the, these guys are building parking solutions but they also have mobix network which is building some interesting solutions on the first rate network i've talked a lot about them you can check them out we also remind ourselves of festo which is advanced manufacturing basically it's another multi-billion dollar company that's been around for a long time uh, we have Katina X, which is sort of combining uh, so many organizations out there, but it's also encapsulating Bosch Global, Fetch.ai, Big Chain DB, which is um, which is representing Ocean Protocol, and so there's these partnerships as well. We also can't forget that these uh, they were listed on on Coinbase as well. That's that was a big event as well and we also know they also they've been listed on binance exchange as well and binance supports the native fed token withdrawal to the mainnet so that's pretty interesting wait till coinbase actually activates that as well that would be a very uh, good 
huge step towards the future of the development of Fetch.ai. AI. It will increase the network effect, the liquidity, and all that. Okay, so that was a brief overview of the partners, some of the partners, big partners that Fetch.ai AI has had in the past, and those partnerships are still going on, the sort of strategic partnerships. And then here we can see this is a tweet from the Chief Technical Officer of Fetch.ai. This is a big deal. First, fast, secure, cross-chain smart contracts are going to be a game changer. So grateful to talented CoinFio tech team for building this powerful technology and looking forward to making use of it. Uh, Fetch.ai, tagging Fetch.ai. So we can see this is Cosmosm, which is basically the, to the technology on the Cosmos network that allows you to build some of the advanced features like smart contracts. So we can see this is from the Cosmos network production, ready for all Cosmos chains, backwards compatibility, huge performance improvements, Cosmosm going live deeper, IBC, which is the inter-blockchain communication, so the integration, then you can read the full announcement there. But we also remember, so as the Cosmos network is upgrading the Fresh ODI network, which is which uses the consensus algorithms and many technologies from the Cosmos network, is also upgrading. The team is keeping up with these upgrades. So we can see here version 1.1.0 released, which is the AA framework. So agent plugins upgraded to the Stargate. The Stargate is basically the technology that optimizes all the technologies in the Cosmos network that makes it efficient. So we have here trading agents are coming to Fetch.ai network and wider Cosmos. We have trading agents on the Ethereum network on the Binance Smart Chain, but soon they'll come to the, to the uh, mainnet of the Fetch.ai, which integrates them with Cosmos as well. Major stability improvements to the agent communication network, how agents talk to each other, improved interaction, improvements to the AEA firmware core, so the plugins, the packages, and more. These are the core uh, technologies or packages of that give the attributes to the agents and how they talk to themselves that give them that autonomy or that conscious, uh, the ability to uh, communicate in swarms, the ability to make autonomous decisions and to be smart about it. And basically, that's the those are the core uh, attributes of the agents. And the AEA manager lets you run agents without having to code so you can download the agent. So that was a, a tweet from the Fetch.ai team, rather from me, but yeah, pushing forth um, that announcement from them. Those that don't remember, there's a sister company called Atomix. Atomix aims at bridging real-world assets and DeFi borrowing. Uh, it will use an innovative tokenization approach to turn a number of asset classes into collateral for DeFi loans. So Atomix is another sister company of Fetch.ai, just like Metalex, which is more into der derivatives. Atomix is more into uh, bringing physical assets or bringing real world assets like real estate and other kinds of things onto the blockchain. So you can use them as collateral, bring that collateral onto the blockchain and that collateral that represents that particular asset, um, you can then use it to do other things like b uh, lending, borrowing and all kinds of DeFi functions out there, even transacting and so on. So this is a pretty ex exciting stuff. I think Fetch AI is building some really uh, amazing products and you can see from uh, how I'm actually analyzing this, they have this spirit of, in of, of iteration, trying out different products until they truly find that true market fit product. So this is a website. You can check it out. Uh, they've improved their website. You can get a tremendous amount of information from here. I always say pictures say a thousand words. You can look at some of these pictures after reading through these short uh, summary summaries here and you can find out more. I've also done some, done some detailed videos about Atomix in the past, so you can also check those out. So what a great start to Mobix stake drop program. I've done plenty of videos about this, guys. If you're wondering how to join in, all you have to do is stake FET on the fetch.ai mainnet and you'll be eligible for the 2 million Mobix tokens and this, is air, this stake drop is going on over a period of two months. So it's, it will end around, I think, the 20th of December. So if you have your stake, your Fed tokens, definitely take them off the exchange, stake them onto the mainnet. There's a lot of guides out there that have been published by both fetch.ai and Mobix and then you'll, you'll, you'll see the guides of how to integrate your wallet with your staked tokens, and then you can start earning the MobX tokens. And when you come to the website, you can find out more about the technology, their use cases, what their market, uh, what their target market is, and what problems, what solutions they're building and to what problems. You can also find out how they're utilizing the Fetch.ai agents in their infrastructure, which is a very, very big part of the MobX infrastructure but it's also a very big and important uh, product that's being built here because it puts the Fetch.ai technology to the test. So it's a very, very good collaboration. And then we can see another tweet here from Fetch.ai, more than 200 signups. 
and over 100 attendees that's a wrap on the community ask me anything so this was a community ask me anything i'll summarize it a little bit it was from human shake who's the ceo of h.ai and jonathan Ward. so i'm going to summarize a little bit about what they talked about uh, they they were basically answering questions human shake did not attend the ask me anything he had to go somewhere so it was basically jonathan Ward asking the questions from the community and there was a question about apps then Jonathan Ward talked about the DDN, which was the, which is the decentralized delivery network from Fetch.ai. Then the launch of the Mobix Tech Drop, which has started in the next six months. They're looking to have a catalyst where people uh, build their own stations, build their own solutions to. Uh, uh, whatever problems they have by using the fetch AI technology and then improvements in the documents page as well of the website uh, they've had some new people so he made a comparison with avax solana uh, Car uh, cardano which basically these are layer one solutions and then uh, Jonathan Ward talked about other advantages of Fetcher AI, like the multi-agent system, the autonomous economic agents, and then its interchain capabilities, which are obviously enabled by the Cosmos ecosystem. And then he reminded us of the Fetcher AI's uh, partnership with the Poland's Poznan supercomputing, which I just talked about. And then Fetcher AI is building to set to build a new set of tools where the companies can build their own. I've already talked about that. And then improvement of security this ties into the decentralization thing that i talked about if you're delegating your stake tokens you want to redistribute them and then the advantages that the a blockchain technologies can a blockchain technology can easily be audited it's this is open source technology it talks about some of these advantages and why these are some of the reasons why they're actually deploying blockchain technology and why they're using it and the the focus right now of the Fed team is to build collective learning solutions. That's one of the products that Freshware is really looking at to forward their technology or give it that true usability. And the goal is to have an open network that anyone can use leverage to build solutions. You can see this was a topic that he capitalized on a lot. And the team is working on travel and mobility. They have some amazing user interface. So these guys want to improve, to improve their UI, but we know the partnership with Festo is also helping to build UI. A user interface the partnership with bosch global is also helping to improve improve the ui and he also gave some examples like decentralized social networks and mobility the gig economy uh seeking out the community to start building their solutions you can see more focus on that and those were examples of solutions that he gave that could be built he talked about the katina x uh, partnership you know with vmw volkswagen the one we've looked at and many other uh, companies and he also talked about the uh, the partnership with tesla i mean it's not there the, or the lack thereof uh, but the way he explained it is that first today is still a young company is still growing is still innovating and is still building those network effects uh, the idea the idea is to become big enough or to to become influential enough to, to start being recognized by some of these big players that can actually and one way of doing that is building an actual product that can be used and that can scale and then the marketing as well uh, he said there was there's not too much focus on the marketing right now but i can kind of see it there's public uh published articles here and there but it's not that aggressive because they are apparently currently focusing on building the technology but we can also see that in other ecosystems ethereum itself uh we can see cardano itself so many others layer one solutions are focusing on building solutions right now but at least they have a bit of a product and you can see some of the most successful product uh, projects out there um they have a promise of what they're trying to go to but they also have a bit of a product he reminded us um, of iota the partnership with them and the data streaming technology which fresh today could utilize so this could be utilized in mobile devices and other kinds of technology like training data in big data centers uh, in a decentralized parallel manner so uh, some exciting uh, set of tools are in the pipeline to the extent of building a fully functional marketplace so there are some important improvements that are coming in uh, I think Q1 of 2022 and then we have AES can be used in gaming and this was a very good example uh, the example Jonathan Ward gave was basically if you're in a game and you have you meet a bunch of adversaries these adversaries can actually communicate with each other in real time in a video game because they have these agents agents can be integrated not only in the physical world but in the virtual world as well and that's why they're a very good uh, solution to interoperating the physical and the virtual world and not just interoperating cryptocurrencies and then on-chain analysis there's not much good Going on right now but they can start um, out with security issues so it goes back into decentralization of the validators and the community is encouraged to participate in this and also first today is looking to sponsor anyone uh, innovating in the robotics uh, basically field and uh, 
they, they can find a way of integrating uh, this collaboration. They can find a way of making this collaboration in such a way that they can, you know, they can work with you, sponsor you, and also help you to see if you can integrate this technology that they're building. So they're actually looking to sponsor stuff like that. And um, basically, one of the biggest announcements he made, Mobix, the solution being built on Mobix, which, which we've talked about over the coming months, there's going to be, they're working, uh, they're vividly working on a version one of the collective learning framework. And in Q1 of 2022, Jonathan Ward made the statement, which is kind of the the the, the mantra right now in Fesh.ai, we will see decentralized AI coming from Fesh.ai. And so this is really interesting stuff. Now, as they're building towards, uh, the, towards that goal, they're also improving other technical stuff like the cryptographic uh, algorithm they're using or scheme they're using and he mainly called it the bls uh, signature scheme the bls signature scheme so the bls signature schemes are basically advanced cryptographic schemes and they help in building oracles and complex computational protocols so basically that was the summary of what is going on in the fresh data ecosystem there are other interesting articles that have been written about them we shall look at them in the future i think this video has gone on long enough but that is the update and some important nuggets information nuggets about what is going on specifically in fresh data AI and some of the other sister companies in the fresh data ecosystem otherwise guys that's all for the, today's video hope you enjoyed see you on the next one bye bye